Hi, I'm Alexander Turnbull from Renee of Paris and Adorants. Today, I'm gonna to do some styling with you and I'm gonna be styling a wig that I really, really like. This is Tango in Blonde Ambition. Okay, have you ever had an ambition to be blonde? Well, Tango obviously has and here she is. So, Tango with Blonde Ambition, it's a rooted color, okay? It's a rooted color with these really nice icy light pieces in. We've got a little bit of warmth in there as well. And Tango is a high heat style. So I'm gonna use heat on Tango today and just show you a little bit of styling that I would do necessarily in the salon, if you like. So she is machine made, so Tango has got permatease. So if I turn her forward, there's a little bit of permatease towards the top, but that's good because we wanna use that to create the body. So first off, because I know that Tango is a heat styling product, I'm gonna use a little bit of product on here, okay? so. I'm gonna use a little bit of the volumizing Bosley hairspray. So I'm gonna use this in a moment. So I'm just gonna pop that over here. And I'm actually gonna use a bit of the Bosley mousse. Now this is the volumizing thickening mousse. And I don't want much, ladies and gentlemen, okay? And you want a tiny bit to just wet the hair and give the hair a little bit of hold. And I'm just gonna rub my hands together, okay? So I get an even spread of the product. Product smells amazing. Really does smell fantastic, so fresh. And then little, little bit of the mousse, not too much, not too much, not too much, to just wet the fibers down a little bit, okay? I'm using the Pintel comb. I've got my parting where I want it. I'm gonna put my first Velcro roller in. So I need to make a section like a V. Okay, so like an up down V or an upturned A. I need to make, make a section like that. So then when it comes out of the roller, it spreads out and separates. So let me show you exactly what I mean. So, so if you have Velcro rollers at home and you wanted to use Velcro rollers on your wig, you could. I would say if you're not working with a heat friendly wig, I would say put the rollers in the night before and you could use some other products. You could use ROP products or you could use Bosley. And I would leave it overnight. But with this being a high heat style, I can actually use my hair dryer on it. So the roller is in and then I just put one of these firm silver clips at the base. And then I just come round to the front to make sure I'm happy with the way that roller's sat. So use my pintail comb again, take another section and if you find that these little bits of hair are coming out of your section, let them fall away. You know, don't try to force anything that doesn't want to be anywhere. You know, hair is organic. You've probably heard me say that before. So it grows, you know, how it wants to grow. So let's not try to force it. We want to work with the wig, with the hair, exactly how it wants to move. So you see all that lovely blonde and the blonde ambition. There we go, I'm gonna pop that in and then just for my fingers, roll that roller in. I have my clips. For me, I wanted to concentrate the body and bounce towards the back of the, of the style, okay? I needed to concentrate it around there. But that being said, I still want to connect the body from the back to the sides. So if I take this section here, and what I'll do is I'll just put one Velcro roller in there. You're coming in the direction of the fringe. So what happens is it balances better. So we don't have a load of body at the back and then it really flat at the front. You have body at the back then it will blend into the front and go flatter towards the fringe. So it will marry together a little bit better. So you can see, just take that last Velcro roller. Okay, take a little bit of hair from that other section and 
in with the Velcro rollers. Last one. And, I mean, you can pick Velcro rollers up, ladies and gentlemen, from pretty much anywhere. You know, they're, they're a pretty household product of Velcro rollers, although I've used them professionally for many years. Now, how many have I put in? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten rollers, you know, ten rollers, handful. It's nothing really. And I'm just gonna get the Bosley MD styling spray. Put a little bit on each roller, like so. You see? Now what that does, that creates a little bit of hold and it will make it a little bit more secure. So now those rollers are in and they've got the product on, it's time to get the hair dryer. And with it being a high heat style, we can use the hair dryer to dry that in and set in the rollers. Just make sure you check that it definitely is a heat friendly wig. And please make sure that your hair dryer isn't too high. To be on the safe set side, I always check manufacturer's instructions. So I check what the wig is capable of taking and I check the output of the hair dryer or straightener. But today to be on the safe side, I'm just gonna use on medium heat. Not high, not too cool, just medium. So that should be about fine now. So, okay, so that's my hair drying part over. So if you remember, I was working with these small silver clips. So make sure you take these out first. Okay, no pointless trying to pull the roller, you know, with that, because you'll only pull up the fiber. So let me take these clips out. Put these clips out. And why you why the clips are coming out, it gives a chance for these rolls to cool down. So I would always let them cool down first because when they're cool, that sets the style in, okay? So why it's cooling down, the bonds in the actual fiber are still reconnecting through the, uh, through the, the process of it going from hot to cool. And when it cools off, it sets in. So make sure you just give those a little bit of time to cool off. Okay, I'm feeling these now. These are coming down nicely. Another little tip, if you wanna cool them down quicker, is you can use your hair dryer and if it has a cool button, like mine does, you can hit the cool button and just cool it down a, quick, a little bit faster. I mean, a few ladies that I look after, I know that when they style their wigs, they might put it up into the rollers, then they maybe put some makeup on, get ready. And the last job that they would do when leaving the house would be to take the rollers out and dress it out. That way they're getting maximum amount of time of the rollers within the hair. So it'll give it more kind of uh, blastability, if you like. So I'm now gonna take the rollers out. There you go, I left a clip in there. And take the rollers out. You can see immediately, can't you? It's so, it's so responsive. I'm just gonna put my rollers out of shot, out of the way. Wow, look at that now. So what I'm gonna do now is I wanna take my wide tooth comb and style this hairstyle in. It's just with the wide tooth comb, as you see the teeth, because they're so wide, I say the wide tooth comb, this is called the wig lift comb. But I call it a wide tooth comb because the teeth are wide and spread apart. So I use the wide tooth, the wig lift comb, to separate the strands of hair. Okay, so by combing this in with the wide teeth, it gives that separation to the color. And it works just so nice with the Blonde Ambition um, because, you know, it's so light. Again, so much deeper roots. So it looks great. And then to finish, what I want to do is just with the, the actual hairspray itself, is just lift some of these highlighted areas just out with my fingers and it just gives that style that bit more definition. So ladies and gentlemen, if you have been using wigs uh, for a long period of time and you've found that you have styling techniques out there which 
you know, one of us haven't shared, please, by all means, let us know. We'd love to hear. We'd love to hear what you guys have been doing. And, you know, if you are going to try Velcro rollers on a wig, um, send us some pictures, let us know. Remember, with high heat, you can use a hair dryer. If it wasn't a high heat wig, I'd probably say, you know, let it dry overnight. An air dry um, is probably the safer bet, but you can still use Velcro rollers. And the, that's just given this that really nice blown in finish, I feel. And it gives, it's an able of giving yourself a chance to give a wig a blow dry or a blow out even without over hitting it with the dryer. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is Blonde Ambition, is the colour. And this is the wig Tango from the Orchid Collection. So you see it's a great style, lovely shape within at the back. It's heat friendly, so we're able to change the shape slightly, which looks great. Tango looks great as well if you take it behind one ear, that tends to look fantastic. Like I said, this colour is Blonde Ambition, which I think just looks awesome. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is Tango, and today we use the Velcro rollers on this style to give it this finish. What do you think? Please leave some comments below and let us know what you think to this. If there's any styling that you'd like to see in a wig that we may not have mentioned, please let us know and we'll, uh, we'll try and facilitate that for you. But for now, from me, Alexander Turnbull, and all of us here at Renee of Paris and Adirans, thanks for tuning in, follow us on social media, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.